Hey all, how you doing? Hope you are fine and healthy. With that healthy vibe, we will jump into the video content. I am Madhu Lakshman Atiketi. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Code Chasers. So, first thing, I just want to tell you why I made this video. I made this video to let you people know what I am aiming to convey through this course. Okay. If at all we see the content, the course content, you can observe it on the screen. First is centralized system and distributed system is being explained in this course. What is big data in a nutshell? HDFS, Hadoop distributed file system. And then our main player of the game, that is PySpark. PySpark is explained in detail in this course. And also we have live coding sessions in PySpark, topic by topic. So for a while, what will we do is like, we'll keep all this aside for a moment. Whenever we come across a new term in our personal life or a professional life, there will be certain questions that will be flowing through our mind. If at all HDFS is a new term for us, the question that will be flowing through our mind are what is HDFS? Why we have to use HDFS scope of work that is scope of HDFS in the future when we have to use HDFS and how to use HDFS. These are the questions that will flow into our mind whenever we come across a new term, no matter what it is, if it is HDFS or any other Hadoop or any other big data or PySpark. So I try to answer each and every question in a simple manner. Like not only HDFS, what are what all the topics that are being discussed in this course? All the, for all the topics, these questions are covered covered in a simple manner. And I also want to tell you one thing: the videos in this course will be going like a conversation between two friends talking to each other, which will help us to understand the topics in a simple manner, and also which we can remember for a long time. I hope you will like this course content. So without wasting our time, we'll jump into the details of the course content. The first topic is centralized system and distributed system. The subtopics that are explained under this topic are what is a centralized system? What is a distributed system? What is the difference between centralized system and distributed system? And also, in this present world where the digital data is being increasing rapidly. So which system is apt for this present world that also is being discussed. And for your kind information, this topic is already been discussed in my earlier video. I'll keep the link of the video in the description. Please have a look. And the next topic is HDFS. Hadoop distributed file system. What is HDFS? What is Hadoop? What is MapReduce? And why we have to opt for HDFS? These topics were also discussed in my earlier video. Please go and have a look. I'll keep the link in the description. So the next topic, the next subtopic is blocks and replications in HDFS. What are blocks? In HDFS, the data is being processed by dividing into blocks. The data will be first divided into blocks and then it will be processed. That which we call a distributed computing that is discussed in detail in further sessions. And what is replication in HDFS? For each and every part of the data that is being processed in HDFS, it holds a replica. Each and every data holds a replica. So if there is a case where our data is being lost or where our data is being damaged, we can continue smoothly with the help of the replica, which is already present in the HDFS. Isn't that fantastic? I like this future of HDFS. And coming to our next topic, what is rack awareness in HDFS? This is also discussed in a simple manner in the further sessions and Next topic is architecture of HDFS. So by this HDFS will be coming to a conclusion. 
and next topic is pi spark pi spark this is our main player in our game this is the topic for which this course is being designed and the subtopics which we will be covering in this pi spark topic are what is pi spark the scope of pi spark spark sql and its architecture introduction to spark session rddis in pi spark resilient distributed data sets in pi spark spark cluster data types in pi spark data frames in pi spark data frame rows data frame columns etl operations in pi spark extraction transformation and loading is the full form of etl so those operations how they work in pi spark is also being discussed in this course these topics might look like a new topics to you people but eventually when we start this course you will become familiar with this topics and also you will be you will be becoming familiar with the functionalities of this topics also i can assure you that and along with this pi spark theoretical part we will also be carrying live coding sessions in pi spark that will help us in understanding the topic even in a detailed manner and i i can assure you that you will experience a fun way of learning through this course and also you can find a new friend after this course that new friend is none other than coach chasers the channel itself hope you find this video helpful and informative and also please subscribe to our channel coach chasers and if you want to get updated with the latest videos of this channel you can click on the bell icon thank you so much